Hi. Good evening, uh, Professor uh, Doc Michelle, ma'am, and to all my classmates in the Philippines, and to all my classmates here as well in Doha, Qatar. Good afternoon. I hope that all is well. And uh, today, I will talk about my final paper uh, with the title of Sidra Medical Research Center and its Sustainable Design uh, Principles. And this medical facility is ex existing and operational, and it is located here in Education City, Doha, Qatar. This is for the subject of AR212 Design of Sustainability, Green Architecture, and to date, the January 20, 2022. But before I go further, I would like to highlight the disclaimer that due to copyright and intellectual property, some images are taken from the architects, designers, and the city.org and other related journal citations. Basically, this project uh, the, I was uh, done by the principal architect, Ellaby Beckett and the architect uh, Billy Clark for the architects and then the client owner is Qatar States, Qatar Foundation and CMPM is KEO International and then the main contractor is JVOHL contract which I've been privileged to work with this company and to work with this project uh, for five years and been working here and uh, with a total plot of 300,000 square meter and the building itself having uh, four numbers of building and this uh, composed of hospital building having eight floors, the clinic building, eight floors as well, and the MEP technical services building, and then the multi-level car parking. And the number of beds is, has been proposed to have uh, 550 beds with a project cost of 7.9 billion US dollar and it is open operational year 2017. Mainly the, the project itself, I uh, decided to focus on the, the hospital building due to its related components of the sustainability and its principle. So as you can see all of these three phases, that this is the clinic building, the hospital building, the MEP building, and you can see as well the miraculous journey, conception to birth, this is for the giant bronze uh, sculpture. And I have presented to you the the building, the hospital building plans, uh, from ground floor, from all level to the seventh floor, and then the penthouse. As you can see, that the, uh, all uh, medical facility and then, uh, treatment and then the uh, operations and the ICUs, all the medical uh, facilities that have been provided for this uh, hospital building, it is in this uh, highlighted and uh, presented in these plans. And uh, now you can see the hospital building interiors. This uh, I have been focused to present to you the being sustainable due to the the material has been uh, used and applied uh, by means of natural materials, including wood, granite, and marble stone, are used throughout the lobby and public spaces to create a warm and welcoming environment. And then the glass enclosed elevator lobbies overlook the lobby atrium and healing garden atrium, uh, orienting visitors and patients within the building. And uh, the atria are clad in the ceramic tile enamel, coated uh, panels and high performance glass with stainless steel accents, and sand shades as well to utilize, you know, to filter the uh, soft and the sunlight, uh, uh, strong sunlight. So. The systems of the building uh, uh, having its uh, automation goal with this enables to control of multiple systems that includes its AC and lighting, building management system, uh, building automation, fire protection, water and waste of water, elevators, electrical systems, infection control systems, communications and medical gases. And uh, the innovation itself, uh, obviously, no one can predict uh, the direction of development of medical technology in our form, the hospital organization, and also the special permit to ensure the functioning of the healthcare building in a long time period of time 
to resistant to changes uh, over time. So to determine the appropriate functional spatial is the main consideration of architecture and compositional solution and technical construction of nature. And then the, form, uh, the performance, you can see that this uh, facility has developed the unique expertise and not only clinically but uh, nationally uh, important large-scale programs as uh, relevant as uh, one has established a uh, uh, national resource in, in the country. And it is also a joint accreditation from Accreditation Council for uh, Continuing Medical Education, a prestigious accreditation body in the U.S. designed for doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and allied health professionals and it's fully integrated into every patient's journey. And this uh, project cost uh, in 2018. Uh, the Qatar Foundation is a cohesive government organization allotted massive of 7.10 billion budget for the hospital construction. So this, this is uh, the future plans will be this an expansion from uh, 400 beds to 550 beds. And that's all. So I would like to thank you and uh, get blessed.